Hello everyone, how are you today? Hello, hello, hello. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, good. That's nice. How is everything in Metapan? Good. Chaos. 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 It's a chaos. It's a chaos. Okay. Supermarket. Yes. Um, yeah, because today is payday. Mm -hmm. Many people receive their salary today. Then that's why they, they go to the supermarket, they go to the malls stores so everything is crowded in the streets mm -hmm. that's true okay good and what about you carmina hello how are you today very good very good nice yes not too much stress yes. mm, no okay good Excellent. Okay, what do we have for today? Let's see. Okay, here we have. Uh, before we start, I don't know if you have any questions about the platform in general. I don't know, section one, two, three. Remember in section one, we had the uh, the, please call me Beth. Then you have a how do you spend your day? This is how much we had a midterm, and then a question with do you like, right? No questions, no problems in previous exercises. No. Okay. Then um, we're going to to watch the video uh, about big family, and then we're going to go with the quantifiers. Okay. Much, many, all. In other words. Hello, do you come from a big family? Listen to Meili and Marcus talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answers on a discussion box. Okay. So this is, you know, when we were talking about big families. And then for today we have the 
Uh, let's say in this lesson, participants will be exposed to quantifiers and their meanings. <clears throat> okay, we have here, these are some quantifiers, but there are more, okay? I will show you more uh, later. We're going to do some uh, written exercises and let's listen to this video. This time we'll talk about quantifiers. When we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use the words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all, and then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Type in two examples using any quantifier you want. This time we'll talk about quantifiers. When we okay, now you're going to listen again to the conversation, but please pay attention, especially to these meanings. Okay, look at the uh, the percentage which is next to. That says all, nearly all, and almost. This is more or less the from the 75 to 100 percent, right? Some, a lot, and many is like from the 50 to the 75. Okay, and then probably this is you know from 50 to zero, right? No one is zero, definitely. And this one from here, few, a few, not many. This is a uh, an idea of probably you know from zero to forty or fifty percent, okay, or forty percent. Now listen again and pay attention to the meanings, okay? How to use them? Next time we'll talk about quantifiers. When we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use the words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all, and then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. 
No one quantifier gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. <clears throat> Type in two examples using any quantifier you want. And then you work down this refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work now at the age of 18. Okay. Questions? We have all, nearly all, most. And look at also the, the construction, right? You have all families have, nearly all families have, most families have, many families have, are, or many families have. A lot of families are, some families are, not many couples have, a few, uh, a few couples have, and only few couples have. And no one gets married before the age of 18. Okay, this is the construction of the sentence and when you can use them, right? When you're talking about 100%, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So each one represents more or less 10%, uh, right? This is 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%, 70%, 80%, and then 100 It's a, an average, right? More or less. Okay, good. No problem, no questions? No questions, teacher. Sure, sure. Okay. Because 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all. And then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Type in two examples using any quantifier you want. Okay, so there you have the quantifiers, and you also have to remember the count nouns, right? Uh, who remembers the count nouns? What is something that you remember about it? Count nouns. What do you remember about? Examples, give me examples, not the explanation, right? What are some examples of uh, cow nouns? Yes. Cow, cow nouns. Uh, nouns, non, uh, nouns. What are the count nouns and what are the non count nouns? It's a literal translation, right? It is, what is a count noun? Mm. 
No estoy segura si son las cosas que sí se pueden contar, teacher. Yes, that's correct. Perfect. Okay. Look at the chat. Uh, look at the chat. It says things that we can count, correct? Or have plural, right? For example, you say one house, two houses. Uh, three houses. One car, two cars. Uh, one book, two books. One boy, two boys, three boys. One girl, two girls, three girls. And then so on, right? Things that we can say one, two, three, four. Okay, for example, when we talk about water, we cannot say one water, two waters, three waters, right? We only say some water. So water is a uh, known count noun. Sugar, right? You don't say one sugar, two sugars, three sugars, no. Okay, we only have sugar. Okay, then we can, con we can count the, the bolsitas, right? The bags or the containers. Okay, you can say uh, the coffee. You cannot count the coffee. All right, you say, uh, for example, I want a cup of coffee. The cup, yes, a cup of coffee. Two cups of coffee, three cups of coffee. Okay, uh, money. You don't say I have two monies, three monies, no. You say only I have money. I have some money. Okay, in those cases, then we, we use the some and any. Okay, let me see. Um, I will share with you this. Okay, for example, we have here, how much and how many? So here you can see, for example, this one is, which ones are how much and which ones are how many? Uh -huh. Try to remember, it's un recordatorio, okay? ¿En cuál usarían how much or how many? No se preocupen si, si no hacemos correctamente la primera, ¿ok? How much or how many? Lo que les venga a la mente. How, how much? Many? Ok. Then the first one we have how many. Ok, we can say how many potatoes okay how many potatoes how many tomatoes okay mm -hmm. what else how many carrots practice vocabulary what else how many pineapple? Pineapples. Pine pineapple. Pineapples. Very good, Brenda. Okay, pineapples. Uh huh. Mm. How many uh, orange? Oranges. Oranges. Okay. How many potatoes do we need? How many tomatoes do we need? How many carrots do we need? How many pineapples do we need? How many oranges do we need? What else? One more. Onions. Onions, okay. Onions, there you go, okay. How many onions? Okay, all these, Words that you can see, those on substantivos, okay? Onions, oranges, pineapples, carrots, tomatoes, potatoes, okay? And they are count nouns, okay? Count nouns. Okay, good. What about the next one? How much or how many? How much? 
And we say how much. All right, good. How much sugar would you like? How much? Salt. Salt. Pepper. Pepper. Okay, very good. Pepper. Salt, pepper. Honey, honey, no. Honey. ¿Cómo se dice miel? Miel. Honey. Mm -hmm. Honey, how much honey? Would you like? Water. Water. Soda. Okay. Rice. Okay. All these are non cow nouns. Okay. Yep. These are non cow nouns. Non cow nouns. Okay. Now this is our yellow. Yellow, green, green. Okay, so these are the things. Now you see how many cow nouns. How much non cow nouns. Okay, milk. How much? How many? How much? How much? How much? Very good. Okay, how much milk is there in the fridge? Okay, how much milk is there in the fridge? Eggs. How many? How many? How many? Very good. There you go. How many? So if you see here, we have the green color. How much we're gonna have this yellow color. Okay, how many in him? How much? Much. Okay, so this is the concept, right? How much is for non count? And how many here we'll have to change the color to green. So that you remember that is count. Non count, count nouns. How many for plurals? How much? A uh, singular, right? And then this is the question, right? Do we need? This is one possibility. Would you like? Okay. Roberto, how much money do you need? How much money do you need? How much money do you need? Um, now you, uh huh. No sé mucho. <laughs> no problem, eh? Con pedir no perdemos nada. <laughs> It's Christmas time, Robert. No problem. <laughs> okay, quantifiers. Okay. Uh, then you say um, a little. Un poco, right? Some money. Algo, right? Probably a lot, bastante, okay? So then these are, you know, uh, quantifiers. Like now we are using here quantities. I need a lot of money. Yeah, there you go, excellent, <laughs> very good. Good sentence, uh-huh, exactly. That's it, how much money do you need? Well, in this moment, I need a lot of money. Okay, because it's Christmas. 
almost right so you need to buy you need to buy the turkey i can buy pavo right okay you need to buy some presents you have to pay the house pay the bills uh, what else pay the pay, uh, prepare for the if you have children prepare the money for the school next year save some money right so then i need a lot of Okay, so there you have a lot of money. Okay, so these are quantifiers. So you have count nouns, non count nouns, quantifiers, a lot of money. Okay. Uh, how much? How much uh, sugar? How much sugar would you like in your coffee? lot okay or a little okay a lot or a little okay bastante poquito then a lot and then we have a little or What is another one? Uh, nothing. Nada, right? It's also a quantifier. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many eggs do you eat? How many eggs do you eat? One, two, or three? Four. Five. Five. Five eggs. Okay, good. How many eggs do you want? You say five. Okay. So then, you know, you can prepare an omelette or stuff like that. Right? Five eggs, you know, to, to serve uh, breakfast. Okay. How much ham? Ham. Okay. Remember, this is ham. And then there is also jam. Come on. Uh -huh. And then you have jam. Okay, jam is the the jalea, right? So you have ham and jam. Teacher. Yes, Brenda. Carmina. Ah, perdón, sorry. Carmina, uh -huh. eh, Lo que dijo de jalea es ham y jam se pueden las dos o, o no, es la pronunciación. No, no, it's different. It's different. Ham. Pero es lo mismo. No, it's different. Ham. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ham and... Wait, this is... Uh, let me see. Yellow. Okay, this is the meat. This is for the... Well, both are for sandwiches. And this is jam. Okay. Jam is sweet, okay, and ham is the meat, okay, ham and jam. Don't, con the, don't confuse, right, they are different. You use both for sandwich, but this is sweet, like honey, and ham is like a piece of meat, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, good. So then uh, in, uh, in Spanish, it's something similar because you have jamón y jalea, right? Jamón, jalea. It's just it's similar in the hey, ha, in jalea probably. At the beginning, then in English, you say ham, and this is jam. Okay, different pronunciation. For example, you have a sandwich and you put ham, okay? And it's, and it's saladito, right, salty. And then you have a sandwich and then you put jam. Then it's sweet, it's dulcito, right? So the jam. 
Te los pongo acá porque muchas veces que se confunde. Cuando se llama ham y jam, but they are different. Okay. Now, take a look at the questions. Count nouns, no count nouns. Quantifiers. Eh, some quantifiers can be used in, a, in plural or in singular. Los quantifiers sometimes van para los singulares o los plurales, okay? So that's uh, different. Because you can say uh, bastante o bastantes, okay? Then you say a lot of money and a lot of friends. Okay, questions? Because after you're going to practice, right? And then we will see. Okay, here we have some, many, much, many, a lot of, a few, and a little. Look at this one. Are there any rabbits in the garden? Any? In, uh, let's say here, questions. Okay. Then what is the answer here? Some or any? Cualquiera puede responder, no problem. Any? Yes, any, correct. Okay, there you go. Then you see any for questions. Okay, here, there aren't. Any? For negative sentences. Okay, so we have any in affirmative and negatives. Then some. Y entonces some is for what? What's the logic? What is the next one? Puede ser son, como es algunos. Y estamos hablando de tres nada más. Ah, no, de... Sí. Y en question or negative? Uh, question. Then? Um, son? Look at the other example. Vea los otros ejemplos. Oh. Es la misma regla. Any. 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 Oh. Okay. Es la misma lógica. Any. Sí, sí. Okay. And then the next one. In the next one. The recent. Any? Any. 
you see here, negative, negative. Okay. What about this one? Much. Some or any? Some. Okay, some. Okay, some is in? In what? In positive. In affirmative or positive sentences, right? So we have interrogative any. Okay, interrogative any. Negative any. Interrogative any. Negative any. Affirmative some. Okay, and the next one. Some. Some. Okay, now you can see that you can use some in singular and some in plural. Any in singular and any in plural. Okay, o sea que este puede ser un poco, algunos, o algo, right? So this one, depending on the sentence. So there is some coffee in the cup. Okay, this is, for example, that... If you see here, I have a cup, okay? In this cup, there is, there is, uh, let's say, a little coffee, a little coffee, okay? More or less here, a little coffee. And then if I have here, I would say I have some coffee, okay, some. If it is here, Okay, I have a lot of coffee in the cup, okay? And if it is up to here, it's full, okay? The cup is full. So you, you can say little, some, a lot. Little, some, a lot, okay? I don't say a few, a few coffee, a little coffee or some coffee, okay? There are some policemen Policeman is plural, okay, and some here is affirmative, and R is plural. Okay, are there, okay, there is a problem here. Okay, what about this one? Some or any? Any. Any. Okay, any? All right. What about the next one? Any. Any? Hey, no doubts, no doubts. Okay, the other one, next one. There isn't. Any two. Any, yes. Okay, ya no duden, ya no duden. Okay, let's go. No hesitations. Okay, this one. I have. Some. I have some. some. Okay, but I don't have any sugar. Exactly. Okay, esto pasa, ¿eh? Tengo té, pero no tengo azúcar. Okay, or, <laughs> or I have sugar, but I don't have tea. Okay, so then I have some tea, but I don't have any sugar. I have some coffee, but I don't have any sugar. Okay, I have some coffee, but I don't have any semita. Okay then that's that's the answer okay what about the next one <clears throat> any 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 
any and the next some some very good excellent next one some the end the arlo some class in the time there are any there aren't any. any negative oh. okay any and um, please buy me some some there you go yes okay now look next to any here what do we have count or non count Count or non-count? Count. count. Children? Count. Count. Chairs? Count. 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 Birds? Count. 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 Money? Count. Money? No count. Non count. Lo que contamos son los billetes. Lo pillis, right? Eh, the word money no tiene plural. No se dice money, monies, three monies, four monies, five monies, okay? Then what we count is the bills. The billetes, right? Bills. I have a, a two five dollar bills. Tengo los billetes de cinco. I have two twenty dollar bills. Los billetes de veinte, right? And then when we count, we can count money, but it's the bills exactly, not the no word money, money. Okay? Coffee? No count. No count. No count. No count. No count. Uh, policeman? Count. 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 Okay, this is the plural. The singular is policeman. Okay? So you have singular and plural. Fish. Es, fish, fish, fish. Um. Is this count? Solo que es una forma irregular del plural, ¿ok? Que el plural es fish, fish. Ahora mm -hmm. ya en algunos diccionarios ya aparece fishes. ¿Ok? Pero la palabra ha sido fishes. Fish, okay? Pero ya se encuentra fishes también. Good. Are there any oranges in the basket? Oranges? What about the oranges? Count. 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 Milk? No counts. No count. No count, correct. Good. The tea? No counts. No count. A sugar? No count. No count. Good. Meat. No count. No count. No count. Aquí contamos que las libras, verdad, o los kilos. The meat. Apples. Counts. Counts. No, 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 no. That was the other color. This one. Okay, good. Uh, glasses? Counts. Count, yes, it's count nouns. And stamps? Counts. Count. Counts. Okay. Then, ¿en qué podemos concluir entonces? Que any is for negative and questions. Okay, negative or interrogative sentences. Okay, and some? Plural. Interrogative sentences. Okay. Uh, is count or non count? Nouns. 
okay? Count or non-count nouns. Okay, and some, these four. Affirmative sentence. Exactly. Okay. Uh, we have a fear. Affirmative sentences. And count or no counts. Y se usa para ambas. Contables o no contables. O sea que estas son de las más versátiles. Some in any. Okay, and then in any, se usa para count and non-count, solo que para negative or interrogatives. Eh, eh, la única forma, la única estructura en la que van a, oír a, a encontrar, encontrar some en una pregunta es cuando ofrezcan algo. Okay, en una, for example, Would you like some coffee? This is the only one. Esta es la única forma en que va a encontrar, por lo menos hasta que yo he visto y he oído, some in a question. Ok. Gustaría una tacita de café. Yeah, like Doña Florinda, right? And we have, they say, would you like some coffee? Would you like some help? Would you like some uh, tea? Would you like some water? Ok, so this one, would you like some help with this exercise? Would you like some help with your, with your English? Ok, so then this is, would you like some? Ok, but then in the other any other question, cualquier otra pregunta, with any, okay? Good. So here you can you can see the forms or in which situations you use some and any and using a uh, coffee, right? And then there are some others, how much, how many, a few, a little, some and any, okay? But let's see this time we'll talk about quantifiers when we don't know the exact percentage of something we use a word okay we're gonna see some practice at this one, so we have, uh, let me see how many, three, four, five, okay, and then, okay, Carmina, you're going to tell me number one, Floor number two, Beatriz number three, Robert number four, and it is number five, okay, Carmina, number one. Read the following sentences, select the response with quantifier closest in meaning. In China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. So in China is a lot of women, few women, or all women. 50% is a lot, few, or all. You tell me. Um, <laughs> okay. A lot. A, a lot. Perfect. Okay. Eh, aquí pueden practicar los quantifiers. Si usted dice, I can ask you, Carmina, would you like some help? And they say, yes, I would like some help. <laughs> okay, you can use that one. But you say, a lot. Okay, good. Floor, next one. Number two. In Australia, 80% 80 of 
married couples have children? Not many, some, or nearly all? 87%. Nearly all. Nearly all. This is for four. Okay, good. Beatrice, in the United States, 0% of the people vote before the age of 18. Few people, all people, no one. No one. No one. Okay. Robert, 35% of the people in Germany live alone. 34% some, some people? A some few? people in Germany live alone. Live alone. Some people. Okay. And who's the next one? Who's the next one? Carmina already passed? It is. It is. Okay, you move with this. Okay, go ahead. 78%. Most, most? Most American high school students of job. jobs. Okay, good. Ready? Now let's see. Okay, this one is correct. 78% uh, is most. 35% uh, is some. And 0% is no one, nobody. And then you have 87% of married is Australia, nearly all. Okay, and the number one, 50% is a lot of, okay, a lot of women. Okay, so there you have, let's say all the, the answers. No problem with this. Okay, just remember the combinations, right? When we have few and a few. Any doubts? Ninguna duda? No, teacher. No problem. Very good. Okay, so then we are going to finish with one. Okay, then vamos. Okay, we're gonna do this five exercises here. How much, how many, a few? Okay, remember a few is for? Count nouns. Okay, and a little non-count nouns. Okay, count nouns, and then we're gonna have known count nouns. Okay, when you say, for example, I have a little, a, a little money. Okay, I have a little money, I means that I only have like two, three, four dollars. It's relative, okay? It's relative, because if you say, okay, let's go to the beach. But remember, I have a little money. O sea, tengo poquito dinero, just to go to the beach and probably uh, una minuto y no regresamos, right? Okay, and then uh, or you can have, say, for example, I have, a, let's say, little money. Little money is sufficient, suficiente para gastar, but no in excess, right? So let's go to the beach. I have little money to, to pay the, for the trip, okay? And a few is for things that we can count. Okay, I have a few, let's say I have a few pens. I have a few blue pens in my bag. I have a few red pens in my bag. Okay, good. So these are the, 
the ways that we're going to use a few count nouns, a little non count nouns, some or any, and how much or how many. Okay, then we have Brenda, number one. Hey. Seria. Uh, any? What's the answer, huh? Uh, formulando la pregunta, sería. Yes, complete the sentence, complete the sentence. Okay. Uh, sería... Ay, se lo apunta el otro. How many bananas would you like, sir? Okay. How many bananas would you like, sir? Okay, good. It is just how much, how many, a few, a little, some, any. Remember that we're talking about the bananas. It's a sequence, huh? It is, what would you say here? How many bananas would you like? Just? Flor, which one would you answer? A few. A few, okay. Then you say just a few. Unas cuantas, unas pocas, right? Just a few, please. Okay, very good. Beatrice, what would be in the next one? Can I have? Um, a little. A little, yes. Can I have a little milk? Sorry, we haven't got. Carmina? A little? No, we haven't got negative. Any. Any. That's why I say, sorry, we haven't got any milk. Very good, Carmina. The next one. Uh, Carl, uh, Robert. How much? How much? Hey, how much bread would you like? And bread is not countable. Just, Brenda. Just, how much uh, bread? Mm -hmm. uh, five? Three. Mm -hmm. This one. Yeah. Just. Yes. Please. Uh, which one do you say? A few? Few. No, uh, okay, bread. It's bread. A little. Okay. Because he's non countable. Okay, it's a non count noun. Okay because it's non-count. El bread se cuenta en las piezas, right? You can say a, a roll, a roll of bread, and in this case it's just in general. Carrots. Carmina? Uh, 
How much or how many? Um, how many? How many? No. That's correct. Yeah. We have only Second one, right? A few. The next one. How many? How many? How many? Oranges do we need? We don't need any. any. That's correct. Okay, we don't need any. Okay, I will send you this later. Okay, se los mando después para que lo repasen, right? With this material. And you can have some extra exercises. Okay, people, then uh, if you see this, this is a lot of practice, any, some, negative, affirmative, interrogative, okay? Uh, it's a montón de información, right? And then you need to practice it and check it. And then tomorrow we're going to have more practice with the quantifiers. Okay? So, okay. have a good night. Good night. Okay, teacher. Good See night. See you tomorrow. Good Thank night. you. See you tomorrow, teacher. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.